what you're about to discover can save your life. Citizens, I present to you Panacea, the absolute cure of everything. Toothache, stomach ailment, and even an open wound. This potion heals all of that. And more still, this little file is the product of years of research and intensive labor. I hear you asking if this remedy can heal one from the Malachor. Alas, not yet. But your question is legitimate. I am so close to finding the cure. But the Malachor isn't the only ailment causing you to suffer. Not true? Then don't miss out on this chance and give yourself a healthy and energized life. Rejoice! A file only costs a few coins and well worth it to make your life shiny and new again. Does it really heal everything, your potion? Everything. Absolutely everything. Except the Malachor, of course. That being said, it is known that those in top health resist the Malachor best of all. Then don't throw away this chance. Think of all the pains that this potion could help you avoid. You are right. It's a deal. I'm gonna take two. There's a man that knows a good deal when he sees one. Hurry now. There won't be enough for everyone. There he is. He's our man, no doubt. His speech is well polished. I even feel like buying some. And if we had a word with him? I wonder if he'll serve us the same routine. Ah, you're finally tempted. In all honesty, I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to be certain that I'm not dealing with a charlatan. In this day and age, I can't blame you. What might I do to convince you? Are there any nasty side effects with this remedy of yours? There are none. You will feel nothing but an intense sense of well-being. Will you drink one of your potions to prove your good faith? Of course. I take a little sip every morning. But as I'm in perfect health, you won't be able to verify the improvement in my condition. But if it helps you make up your mind, give me just a moment. There now. As you see, I am still in excellent condition. Come on now, I saw you take that vial out of your pocket. Nothing proves that it's the same potion that you sell to your clients. As a man of science, I consider skepticism a remarkable quality. But in your case, it is not skepticism, but blindness. We need to steal one of these potions and force him to drink it. Brilliant idea, Kurt. Let's take a look at his cart.
Have you finally made up your mind? I happen to have a vial of your medicine. Would you be willing to drink it in front of us? To prove that there is no risk? This bullying is trying my patience. I'm beginning to suspect that you might be working for a rival. You refuse to taste it. You might have put something in it to cause me harm or further disgrace. No, look. The vial is still sealed. It comes straight from your stock. And you dare challenge me when you have just admitted to being a thief? Come now. You can see for yourself that I'm gladly returning your vial so that you might drink it in front of witnesses. This might help to dissipate my doubts as well as those of these brave folk. Yes, no, I... You don't have the right... Damnation. He got away. He can't have gone far. Find him before his head ends up on a spike. Think back to the note that we found. We need to take a look at the tavern. He won't leave the city without his belongings. You again? What are you doing in my room? I'm not the only one that has found you. Have you seen the mob that is gathering in the street? I'm neither deaf nor blind. <sighs> By the spheres. Why didn't I leave the city while there was still time? The Alliance Ambassador is quite unsettled by your commerce, and he is the one who sent me. Sahin? Him again. Ruining my career wasn't enough for him. He's the very reason I had to leave the Alliance. And here I am. Playing the part of the potion maker. Me, who was once a respected member of the Academy of Al Saad. Dr. Sahin warned me that you were an imposter. <laughs> that doesn't surprise me coming from him. I was a master alchemist. I understand if you don't believe me after all that, but I have a number of documents to prove it. I would still be one if Sahin hadn't set up a chain of machinations to disgrace me. Why does Sahin bear you such hatred? I wasn't fortunate enough to oppose certain great minds of the Academy. To criticize their methodology. I saw them inflicting torture on sick prisoners. Making them drink the most vile poisons. To find a remedy to the Malachor, they won't hesitate to kill. I could not keep my silence. It is for an act of courage that you fell from grace and earned Sahin's hatred. Are you not ashamed to have poisoned those poor souls? These potions are not harmful. That is to say that they don't contain any harmful ingredients. But you could just as easily produce real healing potions. So why don't you? Oh, you don't understand. I fled. But I haven't put a stop to my own research. This potion is... 
an attempt to create in those who drink it a resistance to the Malachor. So you manipulate people to use this experimental fodder? That is completely unethical. I don't have a choice, but it does not harm them, I assure you. If this potion were inoffensive, then why wouldn't you drink it when I offered it to you? I ran tests on myself for such a long time that I ended up becoming intolerant to it. A small sip of this mixture provokes in me now a violent reaction. I mean, the mob would have been furious in any case, but a normal dose, I assure you, is without risk. Your methods don't seem so different than those of your colleagues. I don't torture people. And this potion only has side effects in high doses. Perhaps, but you're hurting innocents. I cannot let your commerce continue. So, what are you going to do with me, sir? I'm going to help you leave the city, but you must promise never to return. I swear it. Very well, then. I need to first get you away from those who want to see you hanged. If we can't find a way to sneak out of here discreetly, we will have to confront the populace. I haven't lost hope that I'll be able to help them hear reason. It would be better if I remain hidden while waiting. Please listen, I beg you. If you want him to reimburse you, get in the back of the line like everyone else. Believe me, I understand why you're angry. Me? It's not money I want. That charlatan tried to poison us. I couldn't give a flying pile of dung for your pretty words. We're gonna hang him high. And you too, if you're an accomplice. How absurd. I'm the one who put an end to his operation. Well, in that case, help us catch him so he can be punished like he deserves. He's trapped. He'll have to come out someday, you'll see. And so you plan on waiting here? <laughs> I do not advise that. All of you drank one of those potions, am I right? You're right, we did. Tasted of death. I did nothing for me, Elsa. As for me, I only drank a few drops, and my tooth is aching more than ever! Alas, you need only drink a mere drop for it to provoke paralysis. Pa paralysis oh, A terrible side effect. The symptoms appear sooner or later. No one is spared from them. What? Are we doomed, then? Everyone. Except, of course, those going to see a doctor to receive the antidote. What are we gonna do? The doctor costs a fortune! We're all gonna end up like statues! Listen to me, everyone! I know a good doctor that will help us! Come on, follow me! That charlatan will just have to wait to get what's coming to him! The alchemist is now far from danger, at least. Go and tell him the good news. So, did you find a way to get me out of this hornet's nest? I persuaded the mob to disperse calmly and without a fight. The way is free. Very well. What power of persuasion? They didn't seem of a mind to hear reason from me. You are free. Climb into your carriage and leave Serene immediately. Let me deal with Dr. Sahin. I owe you my life, sir. I will be eternally in your debt. I remind you to never step foot here again. I have no desire to return anyway. <sighs> Farewell.
Your Excellency. Lord de Sade. I tracked down your man near the coin guard barracks. Finally. Did you capture him? Let's just say I put an end to his activities. His reputation in Serene is forever tarnished. Matters turned out a little more complicated than anticipated. He managed to slip through our fingers. Once again. That man is part eel. We followed his trail to the Coin Guard Tavern, but he had already escaped. All the same, you have nothing to fear. He will never step foot in Serene again. <sighs> we'll eventually catch up with him and deliver the punishment that his crimes deserve. Governor Burhan will be happy to learn that such an amiable legate will soon cross the shores of Tirfredi. Thank you for your help, Excellency, and allow me to offer you this modest gift for your voyage. I need to be going. Goodbye, Excellency. Goodbye, Lord de Sardes.